Welcome to the 40th episode of the Can Learn Library here at the North Battleford Library. As you can tell, we're in our kitchen, but we're not going to cook today. Um, since we have an abundance of alcohol inks at the library from previous projects, I thought I will take that and some metal washers, which are very inexpensive, and we're going to create an alcohol ink wash your necklace. So um, without further ado, these are the items you're going to need to create. These are the items you will need. I've got some rubber gloves because the alcohol ink can stain your hands. We've got out rubbing alcohol to take off any ink that does get where we don't want it. I've got three bottles below there of alcohol inks. We've got some washers, we've got some Q-tips, we've got some string. I was not able to find sort of a, I would have liked to have found suede or faux suede straps, but of course I could not find it. And a sealant that you can see just on the other side of the rubbing alcohol. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put my rubber gloves on because I don't know when I bake or do a lot of things I end up making a mess so um, I'm going to put my rubber gloves on first thing and as you can see I've got three different colors this one here is a raspberry I've got a clover which is a green and I've got what's called Valencia, but it kind of looks orangey. So we'll see how that goes. So now I'm going to, I'll start maybe with the bigger, um, the bigger washer. So I'm going to open up my alcohol ink and I'm going to just squirt some on here onto my Q-tip. I'm just not sure how this is going to work, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to just do some random dots over it here, sort of like a stamping action. And I'll try another color. Because they're supposed to run together, so we'll see if that that happens. This pink is, oops, I just squirt a little. Okay, so I'm going to just dab, 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 dab around. Okay, so I guess I need another Q tip. in here and it looks like it's kind of touching some of the other ones I'm hoping it'll react okay we'll try some green Excess liquid. Try some green. There's 
Oh, there, now they're sort of starting to run together, which is what we want. sure you're not going to see the steel because you don't want it to look like it's a washer. <laughs> this is supposed to be something fun. Fun looking. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of different. bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to um, bring the iPad over so you can see it. And we're going to have to let it dry. Okay, so that's kind of how my bigger one looks. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have it on top of something like maybe some paper towels. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the little one. So just get that going, but it kind of gives you an idea of what, it, what it's going to look like. So this is kind of what they look like. I might add a little bit of pink to the little one, and then we're going to let it dry before we spray it with our sealant. So we'll see in a little bit for once it's completely dry and sealed. This is after it has... Uh, had the sealant put on it. I just took uh, whatever you have, if you've got uh, leather or suede or velvet, I just had hemp and I just did a double knot and connected the or a slip knot and connected them and this is the final product. Well I hope that you might try this. It was simple and fun and we'll see you next time for the CanLearn Library here at the North Battleford Library. Take care.